TV series or movies, which one's better? Well, let's talk about it and then I will give you my honest opinion. So a question that is frequently asked, um, which one's better, TV series or movies? Well, I'm gonna give you here a few reasons, pro series and pro movies, and you can make your own decision and I will give you my thoughts at the end of this. So let's give TV series the pros here. TV series have room to adapt. So let's just say it goes on for a season and then the audience doesn't like it, certain parts of the season and the writers can go back and reset and redo that certain part and keep the things that the audience liked for season two and then they keep going and exploring those aspects, the aspects that everybody liked. TV series leave room for storytelling. You know, movies, unless we're talking about the Lord of the Rings, they usually run for about two hours. And an entire season can run up to, I don't know, eight to 12 hours. You know, and if you're in one of those seasons that have 24 episodes, I mean, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of things to watch, a lot of plots to develop. You know, you're gonna have some fillers here and there for comedic relief or, a special sort of episode. So it leaves a lot more room to work with things, um, especially to just get multiple storylines and merge them into one. Uh, the best example I can give to this is the Game of Thrones, The Red Wedding. I just love the particular plot and how it developed and how it just came at the end. If you haven't watched it, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but the, if you search best Game of Thrones episodes, the Red Wedding is going to be up in there. Trust me. And the one undeniable fact, TV series are addicting. Man, I binge watched so many shows before just because I liked it. I mean, I binge watched Ozark. I binge watched Dark, which turned out to be one of my favorite series of all time. So when I do uh, a video, one of my favorites of my top 10 favorite series of all time, you best believe the dark's gonna be there. And dark's probably gonna be in the top three because it was just so good. And the fact that I could continue watching those episodes back to back to back to back, just benefit. And then you can say, yeah, but not every, not every show is like that. The Mandalorian gotta wait every week. Well, good, because that just made me wanna watch The Mandalorian even more or The Walking Dead or whatever. So it's definitely, um, it's very enjoyable to just sit down and just be lazy and just binge an entire TV series for a whole freaking weekend. And that is very undeniable, you can't dispute the fact. Well, what about movies? So let's give some pros to movies. So one of the biggest differences between movies and TV shows is the fact that movies have on a huge budget. I mean, millions of dollars. Some movies have far, far greater budget than TV series, unless you want to count, you know, not count the Lord of the Rings series that are coming up on Amazon where they spent billions of dollars on it already. But because movies have such a larger budget, they are able to promote it a little bit better, I think. They're able to have better returns on an investment and much quicker. Um, a weekend opening will get you far more money in a movie than a TV series. And again, I don't think that's um, disputable. I don't think you can really dispute with that or refute that, that statement. And, and this movies are just more prone to have bigger stars attached. I mean, I haven't seen Leonardo DiCaprio in a TV series. I haven't seen Tom Cruise in a TV series. I haven't seen Tom Hanks in a TV series. I mean, that's why they call some movies blockbusters. They're huge, they have huge stars, huge budgets. And just the fact that also you can sit down in a chair and you can just see it on the big screen and you can have friends with you and it's just sound and surround sound and IMAX and yada yada, 3D glasses. I mean, watching movies in a movie theater is all about epicness. And I think the movies provide that a lot better than TV series does. So what's my preference? Series. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I love going to the movies. I really want to go to the movie theater to watch uh, Godzilla versus King Kong or watch the new Mortal Kombat movie that's coming out. But there's just something about TV series, like I said before, being able to binge watch hours upon hours of the same show, just being able to have the whole entire season. You can just watch everything and just... You can go pause it, you can go to the restroom, you can come back, you know, you can go grab a bite to eat, and then you can go back and restart the series again. I mean, not that you, you can do that with a movie, you can. Um, not if you're in theaters, of course, but, you know, just like I said, that's just something about binge watching um, a series, you know, grabbing a character from pilot and seeing the progression. What would have been six movies. But it's just one show, and I think it, it gets you more invested in characters, more invested in plot development and character development, and twists and cliffhangers and all this. Um, like I said, I loved binge watching Ozark, binge watching Dark. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I love TV series a little bit better than I like movies, which is why I do series reviews here on the channel if you haven't noticed. Like I said, everyone is different. Everybody has their preferences. Let me know in the comments down below. What I What is your preference? Do you like TV series better than movies? Do you like movie better than TV series? I have here below my newest video, and then I have a movie trailer reaction playlist that you can go check out and see my reactions to every single movie that's probably coming out or maybe that already came out. But if you haven't seen my reaction, there's plenty of content here. You can stay as long as you like, and I'll catch you in the next one.